So this video is inspired by something I saw by Hip Hop Gamer who claims that Nintendo games are eventually going to be coming to PC and he specifically says 2026. I did watch the original video in its entirety and I'm going to leave a link down in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. I'm going to let you know right now, this is not going to be about the validity of what he's saying, whether or not it's true, whether or not I even think it's going to happen, but I do think it just opens up an interesting point of discussion. So I decided, I, I kind of wanted to dive into it to, I guess, kind of share with you guys what I think that could potentially look like. So let's get into it. How would Nintendo go about releasing games on PC? So there's already a little bit of real world data out there for Nintendo to look at when doing this kind of approach. This is something that both Microsoft and Sony are already doing, releasing games on PC. They're obviously going about it in fairly different ways. So we should probably talk about that a little bit before we dive into what Nintendo's approach would be here. So on the Microsoft side of things, it's a bit more, I guess, day and date with PC releases. We could all make the argument that Microsoft really has like the most overlap when it comes to PC. And we also know that Microsoft is last place when it comes to hardware sales. That's not to say this is the only cause of it, but I am sure Nintendo would be looking at those factors when deciding to do something like this. So having it too heavily integrated or having it all too close together, kind of blurring those lines, I'd imagine is not something that they want to do. On the other hand, Sony has a much more slower approach to something like that. They'll usually let a game marinate for a few years within their own PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 ecosystem before doing a PC release. Those gaps are usually kind of large, even though that might be changing here in the near future. But that has been a decent approach if you look at it from it hasn't cut into their hardware sales and it's also a way for them to sell more of that software and a couple years later it's probably sold more or less about as much as it was going to sell on a playstation system so with that in mind i think it would be kind of obvious what kind of approach nintendo would take it would be leaning more towards the sony side and probably a bit more extreme on the release gaps, far more conservative than what Sony is doing here. And this is something that Nintendo has to dance around much more carefully than Sony or Microsoft when you think about it. Uh, most of your modern hardware is capable of emulating every Nintendo system. That includes the Switch. Like, the Steam Deck is kind of notorious for being a Switch emulator in a lot of spaces. And that's kind of the main point of concern here. It's handheld PCs like the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, the handhelds more powerful than that, and the ones that have yet to come because that space is growing really rapidly. Right now, despite the fact that these handheld PCs exist, Nintendo is still kind of within its own bubble when it comes to gaming because yes, these other handhelds are capable of emulating the Switch, but that's still a very niche thing to do. It's a completely different ball game. If you're officially releasing your games on PC and then all these PC handhelds access Steam and then can officially play those games. If they're dropping games on Steam and the Switch 2 in the same time window, if it's like same day and date or it's like a couple months later, they would really be shooting themselves in the foot when there's going to be handheld PCs coming out at a rapid pace that could potentially play those games just as good or even better than Nintendo's own official hardware. So I do not see that happening. What I'd expect here is more of a mentality that they have when they look at their mobile games in those releases. Now, I'm not saying they're going to be making separate games for PC and Switch 2, but um, think of it more like the way they view mobile is like a gateway to the Switch. It's like, yes, there are Nintendo games and IPs on mobile, but they're not a full-blown Nintendo experience. It's just enough to kind of get you familiar with the IP and then just lead you into the path that they want you to take, which is buy a Switch, buy Nintendo games, and give them money over there. So the PC version of this would look like 
you getting not current iterations of an IP from Nintendo. So let's say, like for example, Tears of the Kingdom is the current Zelda game. The PC release would be Breath of the Wild. Let's say Switch 2 comes out and it comes with Mario Kart 9. PC would be on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's how I imagine it looks like. So they can get those extra software sales from games that have already done numbers and they can do a bit more over there but it's not going to be the current iteration it's not going to be something that like you can buy on steam and play on your steam deck or your rog ally and have it run as smooth or better than a current switch 2 game because you know, like i said at that point you would be potentially cannibalizing your hardware sales and honestly, that's just assuming Nintendo would be going that route with it. They might not even go that direction. Their PC releases could potentially just be emulators. It could be just as simple as having access to your Nintendo Switch online games on your PC. So think about your NES, SNES, Game Boy Advance, N64, that kind of stuff. Having access to that service on PC, or maybe they'll go back to kind of the old days where they had virtual console games you can buy the individual games themselves and that i could see that being the start of it i could see them dipping their toes with that to just kind of gauge interest as opposed to like fully swan diving into it with full-blown semi-modern nintendo games so that's pretty much how i see it being done i didn't script this video or anything just kind of thrown the ideas out there but definitely if this does happen, if, you know, this is all a what if, but if it did happen, expect it to be done in a way that benefits Nintendo the most, where they can still sell Switch 2s, they can still sell, you know, their first party IPs for that system, and then also make bank on PC and all that potential there. And shout out to Hip Hop Gamer. Again, this isn't to like confirm or deny. This isn't a call out on him. I'm not trying to drag him through the mud. Don't send any negative energy his way. I just thought it was an interesting topic to uh, have a what if discussion about. So, you know, thanks to him for making that video and kind of getting the wheels turned into my head. But let me know what you guys think. How would that look? How is that something you would support? Is that something you would support? Nintendo games coming to PC. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.